Have you ever wondered how the filmmakers do this kind of effect on their music videos or any montage? If you want this kind of effect, stick around and I'll show you how. So to begin with the bass pump effect, I downloaded one of my old videos from my channel which is from our Bali series. And kinuha ko dito yung pinaka energetic na clips na meron kami noon which was from Motel Mexicola. What we need is a kind of music maraming bass effects. So I already downloaded one. So there's some kind of an EDM. So we have this so-called beat options wherein we can identify yung mga beats na yun ng song na pinili natin. And by default, it's under four beats sa isang buong track. And what we're going to do is to highlight every one beat of the whole song. Once this has been identified, meron dito umiikot na cursor. But since I already applied the beat options earlier before we start the video, what we can do now is to drag this track here on the timeline. And as you can see, meron na tayo mga keyframes that identifies the beats of the music. Next up, we just need to copy this same clip and add another layer on top. And let's just trim this down para konti lang gagamitin natin since this is just a simple tutorial video. And then we need two more layers. Since we're going to have this some kind of a montage video, lagyan na rin natin sila ng effects. And since we're looking for some kind of musicality, I have chosen itong chromatic aberration and drag it all the way to the end of the video. And my personal choice is the up and down effect. I usually choose yung up and down one. So now, you can see five items on your timeline, which is divided for multiple videos, a music, and two layers for the effects. To apply the bass effect, what you need to do is to lock the track of the first two, which is the main timeline and the audio track and drag and expand the timeline all the way to its maximum level so you can see the timeline and the keyframes better. So now, what we need to do is to split and cut these keyframes and move at least, let's just say, three lines until we cut the next one. So we're going to do this five more times para mas makita natin yung effect for the whole duration of the video. All right, I think this is enough. Now, as you can see, nahati na natin ngayon yung whole video and put the track on lock again for the first two timelines, which is the main and the audio track timeline. Next thing that we need to do is to clean up the excess parts of the splitted areas of the video. This is what we're going to get rid of. Our goal is to retain these parts wherein yung kinip natin ngayon yung mga gaps from keyframe number one and then skipping three marks to cut again the clip. Let's give it a shot and delete them. And by the way, make sure that your ripple is turned off. Para pag kinlik nyo ngayon tong mga parts na to, hindi siya mag auto assign or mag auto highlight. So, so these are the parts that we need to get rid of. And then since we already have the beats aligned now, or what we can do is adjust at least the third timeline and put on a little zoom on these effects. So at least makita natin ngayon na magpa-pop ngayon yung parts ng video kung saan ngayon naka-assign yung second set of timeline. So we can do this and adjust yung layer clip natin na to and get it at least a few notches para mag-zoom effect siya. So, as you can see here, ito yung full frame. And then, pag kinlik natin na yun siya, nagpo-forward na yun yung frame. So, we're going to do this on the rest of these clips and apply the zoom effect that I did on the first clip. And then, right-click and click Paste Effect. So, now, all the effects that I've applied on the first one will be the same as the other effects na naiwan ngayon dito sa timeline natin. Now that we have deleted some of the parts that we don't need, Let's try to put a little bit of an extension para mga yung compare natin yung normal track 
and from the base pump effect na nilagay natin dito sa part ng timeline. This is how it would look like ngayon sa timeline natin. There you have it. Base pump effect in Filmora 11. If you haven't downloaded this version, ilalagay ko ngayon yung link ng Wondershare Filmora here on the description box below. And let me know what you guys think. And if you guys like this content, don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga upcoming uploads ko pa. And this has been Alex, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!